Hi, this is Troy Drury at The Hem Show. I'm uh, going to demonstrate what we're showing at HIMSS, which is a patient flow through our cloud access product. So we're looking at the screen here. I have cloud access up. I'm representing a receptionist at a clinic now. So I only have my one app as a receptionist. So I'll start this app and I'll be able to enter some basic patient information here. I scroll down, I will look at all those patients. I'll add a patient. I'm going to take this patient information from, I'll just use, Larry Smith. Larry Smith. Now, as you can see, I could put a lot of other patient information in here, but for the purpose of our demo, we only need this basic information to make the flow work. If I don't have more information or if the patient is in a critical need, we can just go with just a little bit of information. So I'll add that record. Now the patient should show up in my patient list. At this point, Identity Manager in the cloud has acquired the information that I've put in and it's taking that information and it's doing the processes that it needs to do. It's transferring the patient data to the nursing area. The next part of this demo will be from the nursing area. Hi there, I'm Larry Chinsky broadcasting to you live at the HEMS show of 2014 and I'm actually representing a nurse in this situation. So what we just saw was a patient admitted to a clinic by the name of Larry Smith. So what we're going to show here uh, as a part of our messaging at HIMSS is how efficient and secure our system can be. And if you look at our screen, the nurse, as we notice, is only seeing three available icons. The receptionist, as we saw, saw one, and the doctor is going to see even more. Part of the security behind this mechanism is only being able to allow to see exactly what you need to perform your job. So what we're going to do is we're going to log in to our patient tracking system, and we're going to look for Larry Smith, who was just provisioned uh, by the receptionist. So as we see, the screen is loading, and we're going to flow this patient through the system. Now, what we've seen here is our receptionist who hired or who provisioned our patient, uh, Larry Smith, has now appeared in our, our screen. So what we can do is simply click on that patient, and what the nurse in this situation is going to do is enter specific vital information, such as blood pressure and heart rate. So what that nurse will do in this case is claim that patient as their own, that will pull up another screen which allows us to enter some information on that patient, in this case the blood pressure. So we will simply enter the blood pressure and we'll say the blood pressure in this case was 150 over 56. We'll say the heart rate was 65 beats per minute. Once she submits that information from triage, that is going to send that over to the actual physician. So the attending physician will then get a notification that a patient is there that requires his care. Hello, welcome to HIMSS 2014 in Orlando, Florida. I'm Dr. Kevin Pryor for this demonstration. In this case here, we've already gone over uh, the user being created as well as the nurse uh, visiting with the patient. So now at this point, what I'll do is simply run my application by launching the uh, patient application. We'll go through here and we'll see that at this point here, I've actually got a patient that's already there for me to work on. I'll simply go ahead and select that user. So at this point here, we'll go through, we'll claim them. Now that we've claimed them, we'll now go through the form itself and I can put in my diagnosis. And I'm happy to say at this point here that this patient is very healthy. So we'll simply go ahead and submit it. And at this point here, our submission was successful and we've completed our task as a doctor. So now in this part of our demo, we'll show a user login via proximity card. We could, of course, use any method, such as a, a, a token on a phone. We could use a biometric. We could even use a smart card. Any of these would work to log in. What we have set up today is a plain prox card. So I will simply tap my badge. My login comes up, and since my credentials were cached, it automatically logged me in. Now I have secure login running in the background that automatically started an application for me. This is useful on floors where, a, uh, where nurses or clinicians might use the same application or perhaps in a, a clinical scenario where they need applications to start very quickly. I have this application 
protected with my card as well. So I'll need to touch my card again and then it logs me into the application. So very simply using a card without touching the keyboard to log me in. Now the neat thing about this is I can also touch the card and log myself out. Now this is now ready for Kevin Pryor to come over and step in with his card and do fast user switching. So I'm just gonna take my card, tap it on. Notice at this point here, it's actually up at, uh, asking me for my PIN. The reason it's asking me for my PIN is I've not logged in, so we don't have that cached. I'll now submit that. Get logged into the desktop. And at this case here, coming in as a different user, you'll see that we actually have a different application that is loading for me as well. However, Secure Login also supplied those credentials for me. So again, when I'm done on the workstation, and again, the, the, we logged out of the system and it's ready for the next user. So what we saw today was really uh, a demonstration from NetIQ on the technologies to make an efficient, secure, and compliant hospital experience. What we saw was a patient approach a clinic, they were greeted by a receptionist in an efficient manner by using a, a tablet of some kind. They entered that patient's information, which generated a notification to the nurses to notify them that a patient was being admitted. The patients used, or the nurses used their own tablet devices. They entered information relevant to that patient, such as their heart rate, their blood pressure, any type of information that you would see in a triage experience. Once that was done, that generated any notification to a physician that notified them however many physicians there are, that they had a patient who had been through triage and needed some type of treatment. The physician then entered that information and took care of that patient promptly. So the efficiency really is shown by the fact that there are no computers, there the physicians or the nurses are not locked to any one certain area. They can all use their mobile devices to service that patient. It was secure in that each type of individual in that hospital, whether they're a physician or a nurse or a receptionist, had a device very specifically uh, married to them. So it, the applications and the mobile things that were on those devices could only be seen by that type of individual. And then it was compliant in that, uh, you know, when we look at what CFOs and CIOs are responsible for now, they're legally on the hook, for lack of better words, for the information that's in the organization. So by in securing the information the way we did, and mapping that to those specific roles, we can ensure that only the right people get that right type of information. So we're very compliant. We followed a, a very specific and methodical stream and, and how we're actually moving that information on these mobile devices. And then what we saw was a patient able to authenticate with a badge. So that could be a proximity device. We can use things like thumbprints, uh, retinal scans, or proximity cards to allow them an efficient, secure, and compliant authentication to their system. Thank you.